Hello guys, this is Sam. Today we are going to learn to create a classic screensaver using pure JavaScript. I'm going to use the football image in this video lesson. Please, please use any transparent PNG image to get a perfect effect. Let me create a new directory here. This is the 11th video in the series. And I'm gonna move this image here. Let me create a new HTML document. And I'm going to save it inside my directory. Yeah. And my HTML snippet. And my title. Let's add some JavaScript code here. I'm going to create a uh, image element using create element method. It just create the element so we need to append it uh, into the DOM in order to do that document dot body dot append child of boy the source for the image is not it set so we need to set that also ball dot source equal to ball dot png the image path And I want to set the width 80 pixel and I want to set the initial value for the top and uh, left now in this lesson the image can be placed anywhere in the document in order to support that, we need to change the position type to absolute. So, ball dot style dot position equal to absolute. And we need to know the boundaries of the page so that we can use those values to restrict the image elements to the boundaries. Where bound x equal to window dot inner width and bound y equal to window dot in a right and a method to handle the screen server functionality I'm having a method here sorry screen saver again a spelling mistake First, let's get the coordinates of the image element where position x equal to ball dot offset left where position y equal to ball dot offset sorry, offset top. Now I'm going to increase the x and y position by some constant value. Let me define a constant variable here speed equal to 10 let's increase the x and y coordinates with the speed variable ball dot style dot left equal to ball ball dot x speed so so don't forget we need to append px here otherwise it won't work and I'm going to increase the y coordinate also top y and then ok and this method should be called again and again infinitely for that I am going to use set timeout method here set timeout the method name and the interval so I am using 20 milliseconds so for every 20 milliseconds the screen server method will be invoked and it never ends. Don't forget to invoke this method outside the function. I always forget to do this. Let's see how it works in the browser. Let me open the document.
Uh oh, the image element is gone. Actually, it should come upwards once it reaches the bottom boundary. And it should come left side once it reaches the right boundary. We need to add two checks in the code. Let's add them quickly. Okay. If position x, sorry, position x plus ball dot offset width is greater than bound x means it should it should start decreasing the lift value. I'm going to define a flag variable outside here x1 where y equal to 1. I'm, I'm just defining this variable to track whether the x-axis is increasing or decreasing and, uh, and the same for the y-axis too and uh, what I'm going to do here is let's change the value inside the if check x equal to x star minus 1 or simply x star equal to minus 1 you can use any of this I'm, do, I'm going to keep the second one and uh, the next check for the y-axis is if position y plus ball dot offset height is greater than bound y means now it should decrease the y-axis value let's change the flag variable of the y-axis let's use these values in the ball movement code let's multiply the flag values with the speed variable speed store x and your speed store y okay let's check it out yeah nice oh, oh. Again, the element is gone. As of now, we handle the right side and the bottom side, but we missed to handle the left side and the top side. Let's handle them quickly. Let me add one more condition here. Or position uh, x less than zero, and here position y less than zero. Let's check it out. Sorry, this is position X. Okay. Yeah. As you can see, you now all the boundaries are handled properly. Hope you allow this video lesson. You can download this uh, document from the description right below this video. Please subscribe to this channel if you want to get instant notification whenever I upload new video. Thanks for watching this video lesson. Bye bye.